tournament. But our guys with our BPI think this is a true bubble game for Shaka Smarts Texas Club. They would drop about 35% their likelihood to make the tournament with a loss today. Dick, they're going to count on Mo Bamba to patrol the middle. Well, you know, Mo Bamba's one of the great diaper dandies in basketball. He's got great length. He can run the court, block shots. He's a dominant player defensively. He's going to have to be a little bit more aggressive offensively, give him some score of production. On the other side, you talk about Trey Young. Trey Young, to me, is one of the best of the best. He's going through a little bit of a struggle. He's one for 17 shooting threes the last two games. But I think we're going to see the real Trey Young today. He's explosive. He'll be the only player to lead the nation ever in scoring and assists. A special talent. He is a completely different player at home as well, shooting 31% from three on the road, 45% here at Lloyd Noble Center. So we'll see how this one plays out. And the first whistle of the game is going to go against Texas. You know, I think when you think about Trey Young, as you look at Shaka right here, he said they're going to double him up off ball screens. The scenario with him is, I think, mental fatigue. I really think mentally, psychologically, he thinks too much right now. He's not just playing and reacting to the game. He's thinking about missing shots. You can't play like that. He's just got to play. I talked to him before the game. I said, just play. Your talent will prevail. He's one of the most talented lead guards I have ever seen. Lon Kruger. This guy's starting to put together Hall of Fame numbers. Only one of two coaches to take five teams to the NSA tournament. Tubby Smith, the other. And each team starts with a turnover. Three seconds called on Texas's first offensive possession. And then Kadeem Latin called for a moving screen. Chase Febris will bank it in to start the game. Hey, I'll tell you what, they'll take that. A little bank job early in the morning. I mean, it's 12 noon Eastern time. It's only 11 down here. That's a good sign when a shot like that goes in for you. Big game, no question. What do you think about right now with Texas? They need a win so badly, it's unreal. And you can say the same with Oklahoma. They've lost seven in the last nine. Bamba for three. <laughs> Rebound pulled down by Rashard Odoms. Bamba's going to get a little more physical, a little bit stronger. And he will. He's a young kid. Odoms, one-on-one -on -one in the post, leans in. Can't use the window. Odoms, more of a driver, slasher kind of player. The kid that's got a score for them is James, who's the last two games at 45 points. He's got to help out Trey Young. Roach leans in. Osipkowski will drive it. And he will score. Well, the supporting cast for Trey Young has helped the last several games. It's been Young's inability to score that's hurt Oklahoma. Yeah, it really has hurt them. He's tripped up here by Kerwin Roach, and Roach comes away limping, and that is not something Shaq Smart is going to want to see as Kerwin Roach, it looks like, might be headed to the bench very quickly into the game as Eric Davis. Kerwin Roach is their defensive stopper for Shaka Smart out on the perimeter. He normally takes the opposing team's best perimeter player today. That's a potential national player of the year. So if you're a Texas fan, you want to see him walk this off. Well, I'll tell you this. You say potential national player of the year. I'll tell you one thing. There'll be an investigation if that kid doesn't <laughs> win it. There'll be an investigation. I mean, there's some other great players. No, Brunson's been terrific down there in Villanova. Bagley at Duke. But I think this kid, what he's had to face to get this team to where it's at, he's the catalyst. And it can hit. Weak side. It's Christian James fighting for the loose ball, but the battle is won by Jace Febris. Little Red River shootout here early in the morning, huh? Wow. Osikowski knows how to play. Transfer from out of Tulane. Travel. He jinxed him. I jinxed him right there. <laughs> well, Trey Young has an ability to see the game in a different way, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. He's got great vision. His unbelievable passing ability. And there's a shot that Oklahoma needs. Christian James from the corner hits a three. He was out here early shooting threes. I mean, he's really confident the last two games. The only two games he scored over 20 the last two. Here, two games ago, Iowa State, his career high at the time, 22. As Oskowski turns it over, and then he answers at Texas Tech with 23. He sets a new career high, and he's looking for his second triple, but can't hit it. 
Sikowski tries to go coast to coast, out of control. It'll be Mo Bamba going to the free throw line. Bamba right now projected to be probably the third player taken in a draft. They got Trey Young as number seven. There's the shot from James. A little next play ball. He'll go through the crowd. Doesn't have to wave to anybody. Just play basketball. Both these clubs coming in on a little downside. One club lost four in a row, one lost three in a row. And now Jamani McNeese will check in because that foul on Kadeem Latin is second. So two fouls in the first three minutes for Oklahoma starting center. You know, the BBI says, well, they're 97%. They're going to be in. Well, they've lost seven out of nine. If they lose this game, it's eight out of ten. They got a date Monday with Kansas. You and I doing the game. They can lose nine out of eleven. So you know, psychologically, yes, they're in because of all the great wins they've had earlier this year and a lot of great wins against big clubs. But the scenario is mentally, psychologically, you don't want to be in a scenario where you lose a nine out of eleven. Young can't hit his first attempt from three, so that means. He's missed his last 17 in a row. Scooping and scoring is Eric Davis. Nice drive by Davis. That's not face a, a, a fact. It's a major fact. Texas lost Andrew Jones. A major loss offensively. Maddox with the follow off the young miss. Nice tip by Maddox. Really worked on the inside. Can make threes as well. He's a good looking young player. Steps out on that ball screen. And gets back. Sitkowski for three. Way short. Oh, 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 oh. strong. And it's run down by Peppers. Trey Young's made two really good passes. The ball is about empty. Nobody has been to put the ball down. Coleman knocks down a 17-footer. You know, Coleman had a big game against them in the first matchup. He played exceptionally well in that game. He was a highly rated player out of Old Killer Cavs. Manic from the corner. Yes. He's a good player, Bob. He's a good player. This guy's got a chance to be a star. He's been completely overshadowed, obviously, by Trey Young, but Manic and Young combined for over 40 points a game. They're the top freshman scoring duo in college basketball. Well, it starts pretty good with one guy gets 30 a night. <laughs> Takes the pressure off the other guy. Davis for three. OU basketball when we come back. Good start. The Red River rivalry basketball version here in Norman. Two point game. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by Five Hour Energy Shots. Get back to 100%. And in part by BMW, we only make one thing the ultimate driving machine. For the NBA draft, we've got two in our game. Mo Bamba right now projected third. Trey Young projected seventh. Obviously, a lot can change between now and when the draft finally rolls around in June, but we've got two special players to watch. Well, today. we got two special to watch here, but Luke is certainly an outstanding player, but I would move up in that chart if I was doing my Vital Bull Dome Index. Mr. Bagley's got to be higher than that. Any kid that could have his agility and talent, I would put him higher. He really would. Jumper just a little too strong for See, Christian Doolittle. I think Trey Young's playing a little passive early in this game. I really do think that mentally he's allowed himself to get caught up with the numbers that are there, and he's sort of playing a little passive. He's got to go back, play in his aggressive way. Look, you're going to turn the ball over. All great players turn the ball over because the ball's in their hands, and they're not afraid to try and make a big play. So many guys are so conservative. These guys that are great players over the years, Isaiah and Magic Johnson, they're not afraid. Quick timeout called by OU that couldn't inbound the ball, so we'll step aside and come back in 30 seconds. I was made in the shadows of greatness, shaped by the hands. Pre game with Trey Young. Tell us about the conversation. Well, you know, Trey, what I love about him, great eye contact. I like to help any players. I don't care who they are from whatever team. If a kid is struggling, I just basically tell him just to play. You're going to turn the ball over. You're going to miss some shots. You can't allow it to affect you psychologically and worry about what people write, what people say. Just play. You're a talent, and cream always rises to the top. I mean, you look at some of the great ones. Jay Williams is certainly a great guard I've seen over the years. Isaiah Thomas, those guys turned the ball over. 
Great defensive play. What a play right there by Palmer. Great timing. You can't let a bad shot or a play affect you. You're just going to keep playing. Ambrose hits a triple. This is a good start for Texas on the road, up by five. They've had a tough, they've had six overtime games, Bob. You and I talked to Shocker about that. Two and four in those overtime games. That changes your whole season. It's mid-February. They've already set a program record for most overtime games played in a season. And they're going with a big lineup as Texas. They leave Jericho Sims out there with Bamba. Foul called on Mo Bamba, but here is top seven pick against top seven pick. Well, who's going to win this battle? Size prevails. Look at that timing. Look at the elevation by Bamba. He says, no, Mr. Young, don't bring that baby in here. This thou shalt not enter thy lane. <laughs> That's the first commandment I'm saying to you, Mr. Young. Hey, they played together, by the way, on a team that he coached, Shaka, USA team. They had some players on the team. You know what he said was the best player? Markel Fultz. Fultz is having a real tough time now shooting the basketball. He's got a lot of the yips. You think about Bob Lock of baseball. You think about baseball Steve Sachs, Mickey Sasson, the catcher. Could get the ball back to the pitch, but they said that he's struggling shooting. I want to see him get going, though. You hate to see any kid struggle like that. Shaka said he was the best on that team. They had Trey Young. They had guys like Diallo, Fultz. Unbelievable club. That foul called on Christian James. It's good to see Kerwin Roach back on the floor as he was able to walk off whatever made him gimpy a little earlier on when he got tied up guarding Trey Young. And now a duel in the post will go against Osikowski. Yeah, they can't afford to lose a guy like Roach because they need him defensively. You know, Shaka coach that team. Nothing against Shaka, but I have a problem. I have a problem with college coaches coaching young kids out of high school. It gives you an incredible edge, and I don't think it should be allowed. They should use the top high school coaches to coach those teams. That's just my little opinion. None of your opinions are little. <laughs> McNeese muscles one up. He'll go to the free throw line. That's another foul on Dylan Osikowski. So the two-lane transfer who sat out last year, nearly averaged a double-double as a sophomore a couple of years ago at two-lane. Now has two quick fouls, so now Shaka Smart has some foul trouble to deal with. Coach Dunn will be doing a nice job with the program today. Slowly building it to respectability. Probably a shorter rest than Shaka Smart planned for Mo Bamba. See, Bamba's going to want the ball a little bit more. He's going to really want the ball. In and out for three for Coleman. Here comes Trey Young. Oh, what a pass. That should be goaltending. Great look, simple bounce pass, great vision. I'm surprised that the officials did not immediately say basket interference as the rim was grabbed Absolutely. on McGusty's reverse. Absolutely. And here comes Kip Kissinger over to talk to Lon Kruger. It is a great pass. Watch as McGusty goes up. And yeah, Coleman oh, grabs the rim. No question, no doubt about it. Should be a three-point play instead. Here it is. Wow. Oklahoma crowd not happy. Lon Kruger not happy. Well, you think of the job Lon's done everywhere he's been. And he's such a class guy. Just a super person. He's a program rebuilder, isn't he? Oh, he's a Frank Lloyd Wright. He's an architect. See, I even know about You don't think I know about architects. I know about architects. You are a renaissance man in every <laughs> sense of the word. What I have learned spending quality time with you, it's amazing. Had a lot of fun at dinner last night. Bamba in the post. Faces up on Doolittle. Three to shoot. Roach has to try a three. Knocks it down off the feet from Bamba. Nice start. Nice start by the Longhorns. Trey Young still scoreless eight minutes in. Playing him tough, keeping the ball away from his hands. 
I think he's also helping him out by being a little passive. Smart. The shot fake got Coleman in the air, and Young will shoot three free throws. He broke some hearts last year. I know Kentucky wanted him badly. Kansas wanted him badly. A lot of people wanted him. They had a shot, but it's only from about five minutes from here. School, great family. His dad, by the way, scored 41 for Texas Tech when they beat Kansas. He says, son, you try to top that. A career and an amazing accomplishment Thank this year. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, well, I'll tell you this, New York's looking for a quarterback. Giants and the Jets, how would you like to be in the Big Apple with your I would, personality? I would love it. I would love it. You know, I've had some people uh, start with some nicknames. Uh, <laughs> I've heard Broadway Baker. Uh, Broadway Baker? We'll see. We'll see. There's only one Broadway guy, Broadway Joe. Remember him? Joe Namath. Joe, Joe Willie Namath. We, what we really have to try to do is to get you to come out of your shell. Yeah, I mean, if we can hard. do that and it's find your hard, personality, yeah. you'll be a winner. He makes me look shy. He no, makes me look shy. There. I wouldn't go there. Hey, oh, there we go. We got him rattled now. We got him rattled. Let me ask you about this basketball team you've watched. You obviously, focal point of the football program, probably understand better than anyone what Trey Young is going through as the focal point, not just of your basketball program, but of all college basketball. Yeah. Have you talked to him? What advice would you yeah. give him? Because he struggled with no, I have talked to him because you know, I couldn't imagine going through what I did in the past year and a half as an 18-year-old. Uh, straight out of high school, the fame that he's gotten, the way he's played, he deserves all the fame recognition he's had, but it, it's so much to deal with. And so I respect him on so many levels, but the one thing I would tell him that I continue to tell him is enjoy it. Never forget where you came from and the people that helped you along the way. you got to appreciate those things. Let me ask you this, Baker. What do you think? in your game that you got to really work on to be a little better as you could go to the next level? Um, right now, it's about footwork. Footwork under center, making the transition. But, I mean, it's not as big of a deal as people might might say. Uh, you look at the great teams now. Brady's rarely under center. Aaron Rodgers is rarely under center. I mean, you look at the good ones. So, I mean, doing some minor changes here and there, uh, working on it, just repetition more than anything. Well, I'll tell you one thing. People that recognize you and love you, I was down in Florida for a basketball game in the old Oklahoma University gymnastic team was there. Oh, and I did a good. video and I said to them, hey, who's the big man on campus? Is it <laughs> Baker? Is it Trey? And they in unison. You got all those girls going crazy. They started to chant, Baker, Baker. That's uh, recognition from them is pretty special. That's you know, you're a great story. Champs. You're a great story for a lot of kids about never believing in can't. You go to college, you walk on, and here you stand with the biggest prize you can get in football, the Heisman. What was it like to climb to that level? Uh, it was a wild ride, uh, a journey that not exactly how I drew it up by any means, but uh, it's an unbelievable experience. Had so much help along the way. Been blessed by so many great coaches and teammates that made it made it so much fun. And a lot of times they weren't as fun as it should have been, but uh, had a lot of help along the way. You know, I'm an NFL personnel evaluator, and I'm sitting across from you, and I say the Big 12, quarterbacks from the Big 12, maybe Sam Bradford in the last 10 years, about the only example I can think of of a guy that made it. There have been a lot of guys, RG3, Brandon Whedon, Bryce Petty, and on and on, that have come from this league and not been productive players in the NFL. Tell me why I'm wrong about you to use the Big 12 as maybe a, a reason to doubt your ability to play in the NFL. It's never been about my ability. It's been about my mindset. Uh, I'm a winner at heart. I'll do anything. Ooh, wow. Your money. There we go. Uh, <laughs> No, you can no. do play by play if you want. Fire away. No, no, it's it's a mindset. You got you got to be able to, to think that you're never going to lose, and you want to win. You want to do whatever it takes to win, and whatever it takes for your team. Uh, and that's what I've always had, and that's gotten me here. So uh, that's the difference maker for me. Hey, let me just tell you this: Bob does the games for the Jets. I'm a Jet He wants to see you with the Jets, baby. I, he wants to call your games. Yeah, not to influence anything. Anything we can do to make that happen, though. I haven't had a lot of chances to call as many touchdowns as I would like over the last few years. So if you can work that on my behalf, I would really appreciate it. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> What is your regimen like now, right now, getting ready to, I mean, I know you went to the Senior Bowl, mm -hmm. which I thought that was a pretty courageous move in a way. A lot of quarterbacks, when you know you're a first round pick, you're just gonna go through your pro day and throw to guys yeah. in shorts, the ball never hits the ground, you look like a million dollars. Why did you make the decision to maybe expose yourself a little bit to go to the Senior Bowl and throw to receivers you don't know against good competition? Uh, a lot of those guys, they're afraid to hurt their draft stock, but uh, I, 
You know, in my head, I want to do everything I can to prove that I'm more than capable enough of being the best quarterback in this class. Uh, competitive guy. I want to get in front of them and let them, let all the coaches and the scouts know what I'm all about. Uh, exactly, you know, where my head's at and, you know, my mindset of, you know, how I'm preparing for the draft and, you know, I'm, I'm ready to go be the franchise player for some team. I'll tell you one thing, you seem to love every moment. You animated, I see here the crowd loving you. Don't change. Keep that personality and keep going. And just keep going. I appreciate that. Thank you. Great right, right, coming from you. Kind of, kind of like that. I might be able to use that. Hey, thanks a million for no, spending some time you guys with us. Me. Thanks, yeah. We really Thank appreciate it. Yeah, uh, go enjoy the game. You deserve it. Yeah, go enjoy the game. Go cheer. As Get him fired up, will Baker you? Mayfield. Uh, it's nice when the Heisman Trophy winner comes over and spends a little time with us here at the table. And the only other time, by the way, in college football slash basketball history that one school has had the National Player of the Year in football and basketball was when Bradford won the Heisman. And, of course, Blake Griffin was the National Player of the Year basketball-wise. That could happen again for the second time ever. And again, it could be at Oklahoma. Baker Mayfield wins the Heisman. Trey Young, obviously, right now, the odds are favorite to be the Wooden Award winner. I'll tell you one thing. He's got an incredible personality. You talk about confidence and believing. Can you imagine him in New York City with the tabloids? Can you imagine the post, the Daily News, having a field day? I mean, he would be unbelievable. So Trey Young will take a very brief rest as he heads to the bench as we approach the under eight timeout. And that's a good move right there. He needs a little break right now. I'm telling you, he's going through a thinking process rather than just react to play. Kid Maddock, I like this kid. Stepped out on that ball screen really well. He covered. Osakowski can't hit the three. There's no question that Texas needs this game. When you're looking for a resume in terms of a bummer, they need this game a lot more than Oklahoma. And those stats prove it that you talked about earlier. Shepard has it taken away by Young. Young will cruise in. The reverse is good. Nice, nice play by Young. His brother's in the NBA, Joe Young. His dad was a star at Houston. Played with five slam like Jamma. There's no Elijah one. Talk about special. Mr. Drexler, Michael Young. James can hit. Still the third leading scorer in Houston history. Manic on the kick out from Doolittle. Wide open. It was too wide open for him. Never shot that with the rhythm. The Big 12. No cupcakes. Every game is a battle. Preseason, I would have said ACC best conference. Now it's got to be SEC at Big 12. How no doubt. How about the game we've got coming up at 6 Eastern when West Virginia heads to Allen Fieldhouse to take on Kansas? It's a big day in the Big 12. Joey Brackets will talk about it. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Phillips 66. Proud sponsor of Big 12 basketball and Chobani. Pick your favorite yogurt at Chobani.com. We will be at Allen Fieldhouse on Monday night for that blockbuster matchup. And right now, Joe Lenardi is live in the Infinity Bracket Bunker to talk about how important that game is on Monday night, but also, Joe, the importance of these other two games today in the Big 12, the one we're at between Texas and Oklahoma and West Virginia taking on Kansas later on in the day. So this this league, have you ever seen, or when was the last time, Joe, you saw a league this competitive, um, top to bottom, and this many teams that could maybe impact the NCAA tournament field? I think it's more likely, guys, to happen in conferences like the Big 12, and for that matter, the Big East, that have fewer teams. Because by only being 10 deep instead of 14 or 15 or 16, they tend to have fewer teams at the bottom that are non-competitive. Ergo, not only are their power numbers better, but they get more opportunities for quality wins playing the full round robin that they have as a conference scheduling model. So all of these teams, night after night after night, have an opportunity for a quality win. And of course, they also have a real opportunity to lose because their team they're playing is just so powerful. Well, let me just ask you this. Let's get specific right here, Joey. Think about this. Texas now, they got an incredible uh, schedule in front of them. It's unbelievable what they got to face. I mean, they got the last five games, got Oklahoma at Kansas State, Oklahoma State at Kansas, at West Virginia at home. What happens if they finish 
Giants. Right now they're five and eight. Let's say they win two of those five. They're seven and eleven. Will they be in the tournament based on their full body of work, or does the seven and eleven scare the committee and they're out? Well, what the committee would answer, Dick, is that they view every team as an independent, regardless of their conference record. Now, I don't happen to subscribe to that, but that's the way they do it. History, though, would make me worry. Only once, one time, has a team four games under 500 in their league in the regular season got an at-large bid. You have to go all the way back to the early 90s, and Iowa State and Johnny Orr, uh, in the old Big 8, before it was even the Big 10 and now 12. Uh, so for me, Texas put itself behind the 8-ball, losing at home to Baylor the other night, and now they have to find a way to make good on that, maybe by stealing a road game like today. What don't you see in Michigan State that I see in Michigan State? I see where you got them. I think I'm right. You got them on a three-line, do you not? I do, but that's only because that's what the committee told us on Sunday. I'd have Michigan State fourth or fifth overall, but they had them 11. I don't see it that way, but like I've been telling people all week, Dick, when the teacher gives you the answers to the test, you have to pay some attention to what they're thinking. So in Michigan State's case, I believe they're one of the four best teams in the country. The committee on paper, at least to this point, didn't think so. So we'll let it play out. By the end of today, they might be in first place solo in the Big Ten. And over time, over the next two or three weeks, that, I think, is going to be difficult to ignore. Yeah, I really think that will change drastically. Mo Bamba with an alley-oop that quiets the crowd a little bit as Oklahoma making a push as now Trey Young turns it over. And how about Oklahoma? Joe, when you think about a team that's lost four in a row, seven of nine, if they continue to struggle, but according to our BPI, they even with a loss today would still be 97% to make the NCAA tournament. Even with their latest struggles, do you still have Oklahoma as solidly in as our BPI does? Yeah, my numbers are maybe a little less scientific, but I still have them in the low 90s. Uh, in terms of a percentage to make the tournament. They just have too many quality wins. Now, what's happening, though, is every time they lose, they're dropping half a seed line or a seed line, particularly if they lose at home. And, you know, it used to be that we would look at the record in the last 10 games or the last 12 games to try and get the sense of whether a team is trending up or down. That's no longer at least an official criteria of the committee. It might be time to revisit that. Nothing better than going to the Infinity Bracket Bunker with Joe Lenardi. Joe, thanks so much. See the body language right there? Trey Young missed that shot, dropped his head. Body language, not good, not good. And it's affecting his shooting. He's 0 for 5 from the field. He's missed both of his three-point attempts, under four minutes to go in the first half. And yet the supporting cast doing enough to only be down by three against Texas. In this game, 1 for 17 from the three. Zukowski deep position on McNeese. Offensive rebound, but an over the back foul called on Mo Bamba. They called the carry a little bit earlier on Trey Young. He looked at the official. What is that? They will be calling that in the NBA next year. First foul on Mo Bamba. Three point lead for Texas on the road in a game that they desperately need to win here in Norman. Guys. Hey. What time is your flight? I've got an hour until I'm supposed to be. All right. We have things to do. NCAA tournament. How about Baker Mayfield? Your guy had some size, too. I uh, know. He's got some little shoulders on him. I was surprised. Speaks real well, too. Yeah, I was going to say. A lot of Oklahoma talk right now. And of course, <laughs> they will break down Baker Mayfield. <laughs> Bob, back to you and Dick. All right, Adnan, thanks very much. Remember, Baker Mayfield was sitting in between myself and Dick Vitale. <laughs> so by comparison, yes, he's going to look awesome. I'm going to tell you one thing. He's not the biggest star in his house, though. Toby Keats in the house today. <laughs> what a look made in America. Should have been a cowboy. There's all those great songs. Who's your daddy? Toby Keats. Oh, look at that drop. Erwin Roach. Toby didn't like that. It was right there in front of me. He with Joey C, baby. Joey C. Joe Castiglio. He is the godfather down here in athletics. There's a look at Toby. Smile, Toby. Come on. 
James leans in and scores. Nice try by James. He's really picked up his scoring ability. Talked about the last two games, 45 points, give him some offensive firepower because Trey Young has not been Trey Young. Debris, a little too strong. You know, and I, Young's I, got it in the corner. I really believe Andrew Jones was that good that he'd be worth like five wins at least to Texas. James, line drive triple, and the long rebound to Odoms. That pass, quarter of the year, telegraphed it. And then a foul called. That foul will go on Odoms later tonight. ESPN, 815 Eastern, an ACC showdown. North Carolina squares off with Louisville, also available on the ESPN app. Well, North Carolina had that nice little run in five days where they beat Duke. They beat North Carolina State. They really played well in those five days to get those, those three big wins. Boy, the offensive efficiency today has been really poor. No rhythm whatsoever. Both clubs really not getting a whole lot of rhythm offensively. Coach can't hit the one and one. Young on the drive. And is able to squeeze it home. That's Trey Young right there. Explosive to the basket. Spots the seam in the defense. Explosive. Go. Put it down right now with your boy. I'm telling you, he will score 20 at least today. 20 at least. Put it down. That's a luck. That's his first field goal. He's already got nine points. He's done the rest of his damage at the free throw line. Here he goes again. Oh, what a great look. Roach knocks it out. Well, you mentioned Andrew Jones. He has received support from everyone in the Big 12. Here's Oklahoma's team warm-ups wearing Andrew Jones, Texas number one. Positive, have faith. Shock is going to fly down and be with him tomorrow down in Houston. Just a great young guy. And really, they miss him a whole lot because he was really there. He was firepower for them. Tough spot for Trey Young to throw it in from, especially with Mo Bamba right in front of him when he finds Manic. Went to his other diaper dandy buddy. And they played this kid tough. Everywhere he goes, the help on him is unreal. He gets pumped constantly. Augusti can't hit it from the corner. See, the NBA, he's gonna give that up to people. They're gonna make those shots. And the other thing in the NBA, they can't give him the attention that he's gonna get here because of the kind of talent that'll surround him. LeBron James raves about it. Manic with the rebound off of Kerwin Roach miss, and here comes Young in transition. Thought about pulling up from way outside. He'll try a step back three. That's in and out. Boy, see, he is frustrated. You see him grab his face? Yep. Grab his face in his head. Just can't get one to go. Ozakowski seals inside. Well, it's great post position down inside. Ozakowski knows how to play. He knows how to get post position inside, knows how to utilize his body very effectively. Manic. A little too strong. Key for all players, quality shots. You gotta take quality, unchallenged shots. And I think Trey's taking a few challenge shots now, making it difficult. You saw him grab his face when he missed the last shot. He's missed 19 consecutive threes going back three games. And as Roach with five to shoot. Up to Davis. Yes, for three. Eric Davis nice hits job. a triple. Eight seconds to go in the half, and here comes Young. Nice job utilizing that clock. Trey Young kicks it out to McGusty. Beats the buzzer. A triple to end the first half for Oklahoma. They're down by only three. Trey Young is limping right now, but he made that play happen. His create creativity, ability to get the ball to the open shooter, and he did a great job there finding the open man. He can really handle the rock. Watch this right now. He has great vision. He's going to find the open man. There's the kick out, and there's the big three. Give you a little momentum going in at halftime. I got to run to get some autographs. I got to go see. Are you kidding me? I got to go see Toby Key. Toby Key, baby. After the break, we'll send it to the studio. 
Adnan and Lafonso are standing by with the Alfa Romeo. Halftime just about set for the start of the second half. Three-point game, the Red River Rivalry Basketball Edition between Texas and Oklahoma. Bob Schusen, Dick Vitale, set for the start of the next 20 minutes. Will it finally be a different story for Trey Young? He has really struggled. He has really struggled shooting the ball, but the one thing he's done, he's kept his vision, looking for open people, passing the basketball. You can feel a frustration just watching his body language. He's really having a tough time. Well, let's check our winning mix brought to you by Chobani. Even when his jumpers aren't going down, he can still have those three S's via Dickie V. Well, he can three. Here he is right here. Look at the change of speed. He can be super right here. Look at the change of speed. Head up all the time. Then he's scintillating. He's going to be scintillating with the rock. He's still going to do great things. There's the pass inside. And super scintillating, sensational. They get the deuce. Why? The creativity, the creativity of Trey Young. Now how about for Mo Bamba? He's a rim protector. We know that. Oh, he is absolutely a rim protector. He does a great job attacking the glass. We're going to block the shots, man. He can rebound. There he is with the dunk inside. What potential. He is truly the definition of potential. They should put his picture in Webster's Dictionary next to the word Mr. Powell because he is potentially going to be a great player. He had 16 points and 16 rebounds in the double overtime Monday loss on Big Monday to Baylor. That was his 13th double-double of the season. He only needs four points in this afternoon's game in the second half for double-double number 14 because he had 10 first-half rebounds. He really gets on the glass, very agile, mobile, and not fragile. And to reiterate how important this game is, especially for Texas as we approach Selection Sunday. Well, it's very important because of the scenario they're in. They don't want to get us. Joey Brackett's told us has only been basically, when you think about it, I think 20 years ago, Florida State was 6-10 and 10 and got in. Four games under five, 500 on league play is a red flag. You don't want to be in that position. They're 5-8 and eight right now. They lose here 5-9, and nine, and they got some incredible games coming up. I documented a little bit earlier. I mean, you think about their games at Kansas State, Oklahoma State, at Kansas, West Virginia. What would you say is an automatic win there? I don't see any. I don't see anything automatic. I don't know that there's an automatic win for any team this year in the Big 12, in any game. And this has been, from top to bottom, a brutal league. When Iowa State, who can beat anyone, certainly in their building, is the last place team, and Texas has the number three potential pick in the draft, and they're second from the bottom, this, this is a very hard league. Hey, what a job that's being done by Coach Beer. First time I heard about him was on Bobby Knight's staff. What he's done in Texas Tech, they play so hard. The kids play the game the right way. Kerwin Roach, pretty drive to start off the second half for Texas. They maintain their three-point lead. Well, poor defensive play right there by Oklahoma. Nobody cut off his driving angle. Manic for three. And hit the backboard first, Kadeem Latin. Sets Manic up again. He goes at Bamba. He comes that up shot. Short. That shot. <laughs> Try to challenge the type of dandy superstar Bamba. Came up empty. Manic matched up with Bamba. Nice matchup with two diaper dandies inside. Osakowski. Long rebound to Young. Tell you what, offensively, it has been a struggle by both clubs. That's a tough pass to make. Trey Young trying to make something spectacular that wasn't there. Sikowski tries again. This time he buries a three. Why not? This is the first one coming back. He squares his body really well. Great rotation. He needs a three so badly, this kid. This kid needs one badly. Sets up James in the corner. They take too many bad shots, man. I'll tell you about challenge shots. You want to eliminate that. Roach crossed over too strong. Latin gives it to James and Richard Odoms. Not expecting the pass. He's hesitant. He's not like he's so free and easy when he played earlier this year. He'll drive it instead. Just a little too strong. Had a layup right there. 99% of the time he's going to make that. Then a super move, changes speeds, 
I watched Kyrie Irving the other day. The Celtics with Mark Jackson, who does a great job. And wow, he's talking about changing speeds. Bamba. Osikowski kept it alive with Manning has it. Christian James, nice shot pick. He got Coleman to commit. He'll shoot two, and that's the third foul on Matt Coleman. And coming up later tonight, ESPN 615 Eastern. It'll be a war in the Big 12 as West Virginia heads into Allen Fieldhouse to take on Kansas. Also streaming live on the ESPN app. We were there for that matchup last year. Remember, Kansas down by 14 with under three minutes to go, came back to win. That was the game people were leaving early. People were leaving early. Remember that? They ran back in when they, they realized what was happening. In the parking lot. What a great comeback that was. That's one of the great facilities in all of basketball. You talk about a venue, Rock Chalk, Jayhawk. That place will be so explosive tonight. Our game day crew, crew will be there doing a great job. Doolittle replaces Manic. You know, both teams are really struggling offensively big time. There's no efficiency. It really is the execution's subpar. Doubling up, trying a little pressure. Osikowski tried the lob for Bamba, but Lackey got a hand on it. He had the right idea. They had a slam dunk right inside for Bamba. They're playing this kid tough. They switched now on him. Almost that ball screen. But he's helping him out a little bit. I really believe he's playing very passive. They're trying to free him up as best they can. Trey Young looking for Latin underneath. And he converts. Nice pass. He has to stop doing that. Great vision, great understanding where teammates are. He's a legit combo guard. I mean, he can pass and score. We have not seen, the people haven't seen the last three, four games, the real Trey Young. Tell you, if he continues in a slide like this, don't be surprised. Jalen Brunson can get a lot of votes for player to hear because he's been having a great year for Villanova. Heroin Roach extends the Texas lead. Ten for Roach. He's in double figures for the 16th time this season. Well, they were lucky getting him back on the floor if they got injured early in the game. Young for three. It still won't go down for Trey Young. And he cannot believe it. Over no, four today, he has missed his last 20 consecutive three-point shots. Wow. You can see the frustration on his body language is unreal. He had a great conversation with the big old girl with my Oscar Robinson, one of my favorite players. I love Magic Johnson and LeBron. I love those guys, Michael. Here comes Odoms. Shard Odoms. Too strong. Osikowski the rebound. I will say this. If Oklahoma is to win this game, Trey Young's got to get going. They cannot win this game without him giving them some an offensive firepower he normally provides. He's got the rebound here. He sets the tone for all his teammates. Slip one along the baseline to Odoms. I'll tell you one thing. Give the kid credit. He hasn't stopped looking for teammates. Drops it on a dime, man. It's what Kellogg would say. He dropped that dime, baby. Sets up Davis. Here come the Sooners. Here come the Sooners. Young accelerates, fouled by Roach. He changes speed so well. He really can change speeds. His tempo is unreal. Really can change speed. Uh, we see the frustration. frustration on his face. He just can't hit one. Frustration. Look at that. Can't believe it. The ball's not going down. What's happening? It's like a teacup. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Phillips 66, proud sponsor of Big 12 basketball. And Wendy's hamburgers, made with fresh, never frozen beef. Dick Vitale and Baker Mayfield back at OU. <laughs> Baker Mayfield. Handing out T-shirts, tried to be nice, give Dickie V a T-shirt. Away it went. 
McGusty hits a three. Boy, they need some help offensively, man. Now, I always learn some things when I'm working with you. Uh -huh. Vital historical notes on this date back in 62. Wilt scored 67. And happy birthday to Michael Jordan. Happy birthday to Michael the Magnificent. Man, I remember him early in his career. Oh, Sadkowski answers. I remember Howard Garfield telling people, stop the press, man, a five-star camp after looking at play. And Geese with the follow off the miss from Young. Young missed another layup. Yeah, super guard. He said, stop the press, Street and Smith. You're picking the five best in America? Well, I got a kid in my camp. When do you see this kid? Michael Jordan. And the rest is history. Only a star player, people like LeBron and them, would understand psychologically what trend up is going to. Well, every star had a little part in their career where they've got a little struggle and coming back is really a king. They gotta get going, get a little confidence. He's oh, finally got a oh, triple. Look at him. He, he claps his hands, he pumps, and finally with it. The basket's been like a teacup. Hasn't been like the Atlantic Ocean like it was earlier in the year. It's been like a teacup. Beckers picks up his dribble. I might, give him, a, I might give him a real squirt. Crowd going. Coleman for the reverse. Coleman comes back and answers it. Chaka told us that he plays with a little bit more of a chip on his shoulder. And he hears all about Trey Young because he was a big time high school player. I really believe he misses Jones a lot. Coleman, he really does. James with a contested three. McNeese taps it. So it goes over to the Longhorns. Will this finally get Trey Young back on track? Just the psychological effect of finally seeing one go through the hoop. That's first one, 21. He was old for 20. Look at him bumping so down, about time. His teammates know they stand up, give a little cheer. Finally, finally went down for the All-American. Oklahoma as a team is shooting 30% from the field for the game, and they're down by three. Very fortunate because Texas has not taken advantage of that. Roach goes at Young. Blocked by McNeese. That's blocked from the right there. Reach in foul called on Roach. That's his third. Yeah, McNeese gives him a lot of help. You know, Latin need one block shot here to break a school record. Now, what do you do if you're Shaka Smart with Kerwin Roach? He's leaving him in with three fouls, 12 minutes to go. He still stays on Trey Young. Well, they need a win so badly, and Roach has played him so tough, so he's going to ride it out. They know this game is, I mean, it is major to Texas. Major, major, major. But they could be headed to the NIT. They don't want that for sure. Jacob Young is called for his first. We'll step aside. Texas on top by three. We've seen Mo Bamba do a great job today for Texas. We're going to talk big men with Dick Vitale when we get back. So how's it going? Well, uh, yeah, we had to <laughs> take on Oklahoma today, and that is some wingspan. Nearly seven foot, ten inches. Unbelievable. Also standing nine feet, six inches. What a future. He puts Weight on that body. Hey, there's some of my diaper dandy big guys. What a year for big guys. And this goes by size, not by in terms of being number one. The kid at Vegas, McCoy. Eitan's been terrific down in Arizona. Bamba, Jackson at Michigan State. And then there's Bagley and certainly Carter down at Duke. Those two guys. I love Bagley to be my first guy right on that list. Odoms comes up short. But they're all talented players. What a year for big guys. Kid McCoy doesn't get a lot of publicity. He does a job for Vegas. Jacob Young left alone and couldn't knock it down. Young way outside. That's an air wow. ball. Wow. Well, you know, he's got to get stronger physically, Bob, and there's no doubt about it. He will. They'll put him on the weight rooms, et cetera, which they're doing out in Texas, too. He's a young kid. I mean, his body, when he's 24, 25 years old, is going to look radically different than it looks now once he's in 
an NBA strength and conditioning program and just gets older and more mature. Absolutely. Well said, Mr. Wachusett. Thanks. I saw your face it. light up. Baker Mayfield possibly to with the net with the Jets. Was that the giveaway? Yeah. Face lit up, boy. Bamba with the left hand. He's going to do more of that. He does not do enough. Go inside, get the ball, and use that great reach, that great first step. I mean, I, I think he's just a little bit too passive. Boy, I'll tell you, you know, coming into the game, preparing for this kid, Trey Young, some of his games, 48 against Oklahoma State, 44 Baylor, 43 Oregon, 43 against TCU. Overtime game, but the win. Oh, what by it. Lightning, Jacob Young, coast to coast after Osikowski got the block. Well, he went right by Trey Young. Trey Young did nothing there to stop him. He got in front of him. Can't be happy with that defensive effort right there. Oh, he just made one after the one he called. Why can't that count? Why can't that Trey Young just made one after the timeout was called? It's the largest lead for Texas, and that forces Lon Kruger into a timeout after he sees Jacob Young blow right past Trey Young. What if people had a battery level icon? Like SBN, big one in the ACC at 8.15 Eastern. North Carolina will take on Louisville. It's also available, as always, on the ESPN app. What a roller coaster season it's been for Louisville. Yeah, really roller coaster. Also for Carolina, they went through a real slide, but got real hot to win those three games in five days, and especially beating teams on Tobacco Road. Beating Duke and beating NC State. Another takeaway by Young, and the finger roll is good, and the Texas lead extends to their largest at nine with 10 minutes to go in the game. Gusty spins, fade away, off the rim. Young, another rebound. So one thing, it's been struggle city offensively. I think it becomes contagious. Trey Young, that's the able to score. And everybody else falling into that boat. Right now, Texas in command. And a game they must win. There's no doubt about it. They must win this game, Texas. To remain a little bit better shape. Bomba fouled by Latin. See a little boy, you man, defense right here. Look at his, look at the denial. Great denial. Boy, Bob Knight jumps out of his seat. So I love that. Are you kidding me? Boy, you man, baby. Love that boy, you man, defense. That foul on Latin, his third. Osikowski thought about a three. Back Latin down. And kiss it off the window. He does that really well. He does that really well. Latin needs one long shot. The time of school record to beat him. He played in the 70s. They cannot win unless number 11 becomes Trey Young, the guy that was really a superstar earlier in the year. Doolittle. Around Osakowski. Bamba swats it off the back. I tell you, Bamba has great timing. Unbelievable. What a chance this guy has got for starter. He better find out himself, get a good financial advisor, get somebody to get some good planning. Like that's what uh, LeBron said about Trey Young. Kerwin Roach thought about it. Davis, five to shoot, will drive it. Scoop one. And he was fouled by McGusty. Take a look at the timing right here. By Mr. Bamba. Oh, I love his ability. Great timing. I think you talk about potential, Bob. This guy's incredible. There he is coming from the help side. He loves that, too. He enjoys that. And that's a vital. Look, look, look. Good smile. You can smile. You have a right to smile. <laughs> Come on. Give us a smile, Bo. Come on. He's number Come two on. in America. 4.1 blocks per game. The last player to average double figures in scoring and over four blocks per game. Anthony Davis for Kentucky back in 2011-2012. Well, Anthony Davis today, without question, you talk about young talent. He's the best young talent in the league with the greatest athletes in the world, the NBA. There's no doubt. Anthony Davis, I'm telling you, you get your name mentioned with him. He is in another world, a former Kentucky superstar. Oklahoma cut it to one. And Texas has responded with a 12-0 run. Young lost it on the way up. Roach got a piece. Trey Young gets it back. 
Reverse is good. Tremendous reverse layup here. He's a driver. He's got to really take over now and not worry about missing shots. He's got to be Trey Young, or they have no chance to win this game. He's up to 14. Boy, I told my wife, I was going to come in. She said to my right, I said, Hunt, where do you see this kid? He's up real. It's going to like watching Isaiah Thomas and Curry. She's going to say to me, just let the kid I watch. He'll try a three. Got it. Go. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, yes. He can get hot quickly. He's proven that over his early career here at Oklahoma. Nothing but not a lot right there. Stroke looked really good there. Bob, he is ready to break loose, Mr. Mushuzu. He is ready to break loose. You can't, you can contain him, but you're not going to hold him as Dan Patrick would say. Hey, guys. Hey. What time is your flight? I've got minutes from now. Bob, back to you. All right, Adnan, thanks very much. We head to our Wendy's Wooden Watch, and Trey Young, you'd have to think, is still the national player of the year. And from high school, until now obviously you see through high school his scoring numbers skyrocketed still averaging nearly 30 points a game as an OU freshman look at the assist numbers oh. though in high school he never came close to averaging nine assists a game he didn't have to get assists he just scored a will he scored a will I know he broke the hearts man of uh, Bill Self and also John Calipari when he said I'm staying home he's only about seven eight minutes from here oh Sikowski hits another three that is his third triple of the game. He's I got 15. I saw Trey School, the driver that drove me to the hotel yesterday. Mr. Foster who really knows his basketball, knew everything about football and basketball here. Trey Young with a turnover, but a good job on Augusti to poke it away from Coleman. He's got seven assists, only three turnovers right oh. now, Trey. 17 points. Bamba, another block. Young for three. Short. Tapped around, and it's run down by James. Finds Young, sets up McGusty. That's off the mark. Kadeem Latin, an offensive rebound. And Bamba commits the foul. Good rebound right there by Latin. It's good inside position. His granddaddy was a heck of a player. Did you know that? His granddaddy was one heck of a player. Played on a great Texas El Paso team. Texas Western. Now they're with Texas Western then. That foul on Bamba, his third. They beat Kentucky, Pat Riley's team. Adolph Rupp, Larry Conley was on that club. I think they were called Rupp's Runts. They need to put some defensive pressure on his basketball. Gonna go a little trap maybe here. Texas can't let this game get away from him. They've been in six overtime games, two and four in those. They were five and five at one time in conference play. Those are those two tough games at home. Davis with five to shoot through a double team. Fouls. Not a place you want to make a foul there in that situation. That's the second on Christian James. Texas already out of fouls to give. Six and a half minutes to go in the game. That's only the third team foul on OU. Coming up later, 6.15 Eastern here on ESPN, another Big 12 battle. West Virginia heads to Allen Fieldhouse to take on Kansas, also streaming live on the ESPN app. So this is a heck of a weekend as well for Kansas. They play West Virginia this afternoon and then of course they take on Trey Young in Oklahoma on Big Monday. You know this game ends so early we can jump on a plane and get right out there and join those guys for that game. But have no tickets. Got no tickets. You think maybe Billis and Schumann maybe leave us a couple tickets? No. We ought to go down there. Are you kidding me? Hey come on guys. Come on Jay. Come on Dan. Get us some seats man. You're wired down there. Help us out. Bob and I want to enjoy the afternoon basketball. Trey Young bumped on his way to the goal so that'll be a one and one for Trey Young. I told you he was going to get 20 when he had about three or four, did I not? He's at 17. Yeah, you are a prophet. <laughs> In my own mind. Yeah, this, this is their 26th game of the year, and he has been a 20-point scorer or more in 21 of the previous 25. You know, really. So you went on a limb when you predicted 24. Well, minutes. I did it, Joe, when he was at like three or four points. And when he was really struggling, had made a shot, frustration on his face. 
He's got that great follow through on the free throw line. Now he's got 19. Rose throws one to nowhere. Miscommunication with Osikowski. Wow, what a turnover. This could get away from Texas. They're getting a little bit out of rhythm. And this guy's starting to get a little bounce to his step now, Trey. Doolittle. Wow. That was not what OU was looking for. That looked like my wife's shot. I saw her turn take a shot the other day. That looked like my wife's well, little Rain's big city. Dead eye. What are you talking about? I've seen her <laughs> knock it down. <laughs> That was a real brick there, baby. The brother Wheatley's with that second. Look at the mismatch inside. They got Young playing Ozikowski. Why not throw him the ball? Why not throw him the ball? Bamba gets his own miss and lost it out of bounds. Ozikowski had Trey Young guarding him, calling for the ball in the post, and nobody gets him the rock. Augusti will go to the free throw line. Take a look right here. Look at Osikowski. See him right here? Freeze it right there. Freeze it. He's got Trey Young. He wants the ball, man. He knows what to do if he gets it. Bob says, no, I'm going for three, baby. I'm wide open, but I'm going for three. You got to know when people are on the floor. Good offensive rebound. Look at Shaka. What a job he did at VCU. Took him to the Final Four. There was a couple of analysts that said they have no shot to be in the tournament when they got in. No shot to get in. I think I was one of the guilty parties. I was one of the guilty parties. They not only got in the tournament, they went to the final four. And his name, Shaka Smart, became really big in the college landscape. The foul, by the way, that put Augusti at the free throw line was called on Matt Coleman. That's Coleman's fourth. It goes to overtime, man. It becomes big. This is a final contributor to the team. Got a little trap here. Got a little trap. Step to the ball. Too much dribbling, not enough ball movement. You got to get more ball movement, Bob, against that pressure. Another foul, though, on James. That's his third. And the fourth team foul on Oklahoma. Crowd is awful quiet. Crowd is quiet. They only, were only five and a half minutes to go. So if OU is going to make a push here against Texas, it has to come soon. It better come soon. They're down a winning time now. These were players make special plays, the great ones. Too much standing. You gotta get that ball moving. Five to shoot. Roach. Lost it. Does he realize it? Floats one up. That shot. Offensive rebound of Sikowski hung from the rim as the ball falls through. Just out hustled him. Out hustled him. Oh, Sikowski really goes to the glass, gets that offensive rebound because he wanted the ball. You gotta want the ball. You're down and they were they were down five. You gotta want that ball. We're down seven at the time. Now it's nine. And it goes back to it. Nice play. That's you like to see. Manic knows how to play. Great cut without the ball. One of the lost starts in the game. Movement without the basketball. Everyone wants a pilot to the deck like he's just doing right there. That took some time to move too. Oh. Augusti almost got the steal. Roach through traffic. Five to shoot for Davis. Roach from the corner. A shot fake. He'll drive it and put it home with two on the timer. You can't allow a guy to get to the rim like that. You gotta take the baseline away. Young went coast to coast, hit the underside of the backboard. He wanted a good foul there, but there's no contact. No defense whatsoever, but Oklahoma on that baseline. Let's him allow a drive. Here's another one. Are you kidding me? Yes. Two in a row. Two drives on the baseline. That's little Lonnie Kruger basketball. I'll tell you this, Lonnie Kruger's gotta be very upset with the defensive effort by Oklahoma. You're down like they are. You should be digging in. Instead, now they're minus 11. Wow. Wow. It has been a struggle for Oklahoma in danger of losing their fifth in a row. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by Five Hour Energy Shots. Get back to 100%.
Well, Adnan Burke, it's been a struggle for Oklahoma and Dick Vitale. They're not only struggling at the offensive end, they're struggling at the defensive end. Well, right here, take a look at the defense. We're going to watch this right here. Freeze it. Freeze it right there. You see this guy right here? He's got to rotate over here, and he's got to go down here. You can't let him go right to the goal. Well, watch this. Nobody rotates over, and he goes right to the goal for the less than the layup. I could have made that layup. Wow. Unbelievable. You can't win games like that, Bob. You got to play team defense. He's rotating, helping one another. That three hit the backboard first for James. Davis runs it down at midcourt, finds Coleman. Knocked away by Odoms, but a foul call. I'll tell you, Uncle Mo is certainly on the side of Texas. Red River shootout, baby. They want this W. It'll be a sweet one for him, right? Look at this here. Look at that hustle, man. Great hustle points on the floor. He gets fouled, go to the line. Coming home to Lloyd Noble Center, that was supposed to be the cure-all. Absolutely. Him. And they, they are supposed to be and have been a different team in this building. They're 11-1 and one in this building this season, 8-0 and oh against unranked teams. And yet all the troubles they've had recently on the road, they've all come home to Norman today. Trey Young yep. can't shoot. They're shooting 28% from the field. And they have allowed Texas to shoot 52% as a road team and route to a 12-point lead. Well, Trey Young, 4 for 16. 4 for 17. There you go. Good math. Odoms to McNeese. Jump hook is short. Bamba has a career high in rebounds and draws the foul. 17 rebounds today wow. for Mo Bamba. You know, Oklahoma, 14 to two at one time, really on top of the world. It wasn't Cupcake City either. They were beating quality teams. It was one of those 40 point games were happening for Trey Young. On Kluger, five schools he's taken to the tournament. Tommy Smith did the same. Tommy now down in Memphis. Look at the bench, the body language tells you all. Does y'all, there's not a lot of contentment and happiness there. Oklahoma right now is living off of the resume they put together much earlier in the season when they beat Texas Tech. When they won against Northwestern, when Northwestern was a ranked team as Osikowski reverses one home. They got wins against Oregon and they piled up some wins against ranked teams, win against Kansas as young scores, but they are really struggling as you hit the most important time of the season. Absolutely. I mean, they lose this game here. What's it, 8 out of 10? And then in 36 or 48 hours, they got to go up to Rock Chalk, Jay Rockland. And if they come off with a win over West Virginia, wow. Roach fouled hard by Odoms. You know, Kansas right now trying to win the 14th year in a row. The conference, which will tie, will break the record of John Wooden. And right now, they're one game behind Texas Tech. Tonight after Oregon UCLA on ESPN Catch Sports Center with Conan Anderson. They'll have a recap of the NBA slam dunk three-point skills contest. The case for a top seed with selection Sunday three weeks away. The debut of SC feature Bubba NASCAR's first full-time African-American cup driver since the 70s. And now he could be the face of change. All that and more streaming live on the ESPN app tonight as well. This is the first time this season where the fans have been able to leave early from Lloyd Noble Center. Again, this team's 11 and 1 at home this year. Well, got a little help right there with two bricks that went up to that free throw line. Panic. Short. Rebound number 18 for Mo Bamba. What a day he's having this afternoon. He's just got to become a little more aggressive offensively, trust himself. He's a lot better offensive player than what he gives himself credit for me. He's a good saying it's got a long way to go. I don't think so. Coleman with another layup for Texas. They extend their lead. What a performance on the road for a Texas team that you talked about. Desperate to win this game. Yeah, desperate. They made sure, as desperate they were, they came out here with purpose, with a plan, and they've done it to perfection. Yes, Shaka's got to be really, really happy thus far. Minute 47 to go, in great shape. They lose this game, there would have to be a total investigation. I mean, a total investigation. You know, he had a good year his first year, a lot of injuries. Last year, they had a bad year, Shaka's year. 
this year, I mean, with a kid that's going to be a lottery top five pick, people are expecting them to be in the tournament. That's why his game is big now. As we head down the stretch, a lot of things to pay attention to in college basketball. The top four seeds that the selection committee put together with bracketology, Virginia, Xavier, Villanova, and Auburn. Of course, Xavier and Nova play each other later on today. Kansas, they've lost three of their last seven. They have West Virginia coming up later on. And you talked about it with Joey Brackett's bottom line, I think is interesting. Is Michigan State seated too low? Yeah, I really do. I think Michigan State's going to move up. I think really logic will prevail. Let me tell you this, Auburn on the number one line. That's unreal. They got an incredible date next Saturday down there in Gainesville, man, against Florida, the Gators. And that could be a game where their number one seed can be hanging right there. So, again, they got some basketball, but Bruce Pearl has to be, along with Beard. I think Pearl and Beard are the leaders, leaders right now for National Coach of the Year. Hard He's to done, argue. Texas Tech has been unbelievable. And what Pearl's done at Auburn in an incredible situation with all that FBI reports and Chuck Persons, unbelievable shaky situation, what he did in terms of giving, taking money, delivering kids, just ridiculous. So they threw the ball up high lob. The Baba, Baba wants to handle the rock. Coleman's in trouble. Needs to get it across the timeline and does to Ozakowski. Ozakowski knows how to play. He has great basketball instincts. Feel for the game. There He'll go to the goal the here. Another reverse for Ozakowski. Wow. He's over 20 for the game. 21 on the afternoon. How much of those waves bounced all over the place? I just wish I could have a couple of them one time of my life. Young steps back for three. Very quiet 20 today. Very quiet. 26 to be exact. 26, that's unbelievable. In a very silent performance for 26. Really, it's been a silent performance. Well, the I, challenge with Trey Young and teams second half of the Big 12 season have done a good job with it is they have just made him less efficient. He still gets his numbers. If you look at his scoring average, it hasn't dipped at all. But he has shot a much lower percentage from the field. So it seems like teams are making him work a lot harder to get his 25 to 30 points. You know what I think really affected him, too? Earlier in the year when he took, like, 39 shots and he had a game, I don't know how many scored in that game, and they lost a tough game. I think it was an overtime game. Had the game won if they would have fouled and not let Oklahoma State shoot a three. I think it was the Oklahoma State. I'm not sure. It was the Oklahoma State game. Took 39 shots. And then after that, there was team meetings and people talking about shot selection and all that. And then he changed. He went to another game, took, like, I don't know, a, a small number of shots, what was it, 10 or 11? And he ended up with 20 points, and 29, and had a great game. And I, I think all of that affected him. I think he thinks too much about all that, and I believe that's caused a little mental fatigue. Well, Shaka's kids did what they had to do. Come here and get a W, man. They're going home with a W. James forces a backcourt violation. 43 seconds to go in the game. Christian James a little slow to get up. Well, the only guy that would make something happen now with 42 seconds used to be the Michelangelo of a coach, Dean Smith. He was unbelievable in scenarios like this. And I will stake my life that Texas is leaving here with a W. That's pretty, pretty gutty. I don't, I don't, need, point lead. I don't want you to go that far. <laughs> Young. Taken away by Kerwin Roach. Roach done a good job on it. Does the Bamba? And Bamba will go to the free throw line, fouled by Richard Odoms. That's the fourth on Odoms. Boy, I'll tell you, emotionally, losing a game like this, you lose eight out of ten in your Oklahoma, and you gotta think you've got to get on that plane and head to Kansas. Wow. Wow. Not a place you'd like to go after a loss at home like this. Obama's season has exponentially improved as he has gone through the year. And here's a look at Oklahoma's remaining schedule, how difficult it will be at KU on Monday night. Baylor will not be a gimme.
Kansas State has surprised at times this season. The Big 12 tournament is going to rock Kansas City this year. Yeah, it'll be kind of a, as will the SEC as well. It's going to be a dynamite place. You don't know what to expect there. John Calipari's Kentucky Wildcats have lost, I believe, four in a row. And it's been a struggle for them shooting the basketball. But they'll still be a very dangerous team on a given night. They can cause a lot of havoc. Well, my friend, I'm going to Oklahoma City tonight with my beautiful bride. It's going to be date night. She's treating me. Go out and have a nice meal. You're going to keep calling me up with what's happening in the West Virginia game? I'll be your, I'll be your fountain of information, yep. And tomorrow we will head to Jayhawk land. That's right. Kerwin Rhodes dribbles it down. And a much-needed road win for Texas. Wow. As they sweep the regular season series with Oklahoma. And Shaka Smart's team gets their first win in Norman since Valentine's Day back in 2012. Desperate win, no question about it. They got to win at least eight games in conference play. As Joe Lenardi spoke, and I mentioned earlier, four games under 500 is a red flag. If they get to eight and ten, they'll for sure be in the big, big dance. 77-66 is the final. Texas over Oklahoma. Coming up next, it's Big Ten basketball. Indiana will take on Iowa. All of this heading up towards a 6:15 Eastern.